This show is a member of the Sorgatron Media Podcast Network. Find out more at sorgatronmedia.com. Parental discretion is advised. This show is brought to you by Slice on Broadway. Supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. SliceOnBroadway.com. IndieWrestling.us. Check out IWC, RWA, and more. And listeners like you, support this show at Patreon.com slash Wrestling Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. Just wait. It is the Wrestling Mayhem Showed episode 712 Tuesdays that we've been talking about professionalized wrestling and one Tuesday where I literally just watched Matt Carlin's run off into the distance on his feed as we started the show. We got a fun one for you guys tonight. Let's get all get all that steam out that's building up through the week or or not building up as the case may be for a lot of you. But anyways, we got a hell of a crew with us tonight. First of all, the only mayhemer with a future endeavor letter from the WWE and um, gets to stick his uh, hand up his boss's ass. It is mad Mike. Of course, he probably doesn't have that one handy right now. Do you Mike? No, I don't because Jesus, I didn't expect that kind of an intro. I am sorry. He's holding a millionaire, not, not boss. Uh, I am I am worthy, but I didn't know I was that worthy. That, that's 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 a different level. Yes, it is. How you doing, Mike? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. So Lego just announced a bunch of new Harry Potter sets. So if quarantine goes until the summer, um, I won't go crazier than I already am. Excellent, excellent. Also back with us, I already kind of dro- dropped the line on him from r- walking away <laughs> at the beginning of the show. Matt Carlin's is wrangling the kids enough to do a podcast tonight. Thank you so much, Matt, for joining uh, us. I'm sorry, did you catch that on camera when I ran away? <laughs> Not on <laughs> camera, but I went to the wide to see the empty shot because it, I started. <laughs> I so saw you running away on the side of the corner of my eye. I'm just like, what is hell? Well, it, I mean, it, 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 it was very Indiana Jones. It was. <laughs> <laughs> you know, sort everyone's working off their webcam these days. And, you know, clearly some of these TV professionals have never done this in their lives, as evidenced by the stuff we see on TV every day. Uh-huh, Someone uh-huh. has to show them away. Someone has to demonstrate proper framing, proper lighting. So, yes, I was sprinting to the background to turn off my kitchen light because I was worried about the framing and the quality of the shot I'm providing for you, Sorgatron. He has that's, learned, what I, that's all I worry about. He has, you. He has learned so much from this show <laughs> that he's going to take back to the TV <laughs> world at some point. <laughs> fantastic this would have been your time man if you were still if you were still at the helm this you would have been setting everybody straight for these live shots oh my goodness i can't even imagine like some of these shots <laughs> that i see uh you know some of the shots during the draft over the weekend some of the <laughs> stuff we see on the news now especially catch catch it like you know late at night when they're bringing you know whoever on you know or really like during the day too whenever the kids are around too mm. and sort i can hear you screaming from the other side of town <laughs> when i see some of these webcam shots just the shoddiest framing, the worst lighting. People wearing no pants. It's 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 hard to watch. I can't you know? t- I can't tell my podcast from my from my evening television anymore on exactly. YouTube. It all looks the same. The <laughs> playing field's been leveled, Sorg. The playing field has been leveled. I think Bill I'm Mar- just waiting. I'm waiting for Colbert to say like, subscribe, and share on his uh, actual CBS. Oh show. yeah. Like, oh yeah. That's that's it's that's gonna, gonna happen. Down. Um, also with us, Toy Collector Extraordinaire. There's a new episode of Klein and Stark's Excellent Toy Adventures on the Sorgatron Media Master Feed, sorgatronmedia.com, Wrestling Mayhem Show. Doc. Actually, we started putting it into the Wrestling Mayhem Show Master Feed uh, as well. So please, um, um, if you subscribe to any of that, make sure you check it out. Ronnie Stark's with us, fresh from unboxing his sweet, sweet Transformers Ecto 1. Hello, everyone. <laughs> Let me share this off again if you guys you can go. see it. There you go. Get the little preview. There it is. There it is, back in the box. Mm-hmm. Oh, Slimer fell. Slimer oh fell. yeah, he's yeah he's yeah. Get back in there, Spud. <laughs> <laughs> also with us, also with us, uh, uh, our 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 new guest for uh, tonight, uh, and the second person we've had on a Mayhem show uh, this month that has a something on Prime, Amazon Prime actually. <laughs> so uh, awesome. So this is this is a new this is a new level for us. Aaron Kleiber, comedian extraordinaire, and a grown ass dad is with us as well. How you doing? Yeah, baby. I'm excited. <laughs> I love I uh go ahead. No, I I I uh I've listened a handful of times and I've always been like I don't know enough about wrestling. And uh <laughs> 
And and then I uh, I got into it in the last six months, so I am uh, arbitrarily watching now. Awesome, awesome. I want to get into that because I saw your comment about when you shared the show. So I want to touch on that, and that's why I'm, I'm yes. glad we got another Wrestle Dad on yes. the show tonight too. So you, so we can get into that. <laughs> yes. Um. But because uh, I mean, his I don't know if you you've seen some of Matt's stuff, but uh, uh, Mason Mania is riding wild. Um, but before we get into that, doing some business real quick, of course, please go check out everything at WrestlingMayhemShow.com. You can email us, of course, at that email address. Good times! Good times, Good times at WrestlingMayhemShow.com, 412-206-WMS0. Or if you followed Mad Mike's advice, it's under your ex's phone number in your phone. So you don't do that again <laughs> with your drunk and you call us instead because we're here for you. We'll mm-hmm. always be here for you, damn it. Uh, and we <laughs> may send dick pics. And we may... Not, I, I didn't say pictures of people named Dick, like Dick Togo. Yeah, there you go. Who doesn't, who doesn't want a picture of Dick Togo at four in the Dick morning? Dick Van Dyke. Exactly, <laughs> Dick Van Dyke. Dick Van Patten. Why not? Hell, we can even play Name That Dick, where we just sent Dick Clark. Dick Tracy. Yes. There you say. go. Hey, Bradley, Heel Bradley, next time that, that, that Dutters is sending you butt pictures, just make sure to <laughs> counter with a Dick Togo pic. There you go. <laughs> Don't worry. Never mind. Uh, I'm not going down there. Uh, anyways, tweet us at Mayhem Show, Facebook page, Wrestling Mayhem Show, and the group. A lot of great conversation happening throughout the week. And, of course, we are live every Tuesday at 9 p.m. <laughs> on Facebook Live as well as over on the uh, Periscope, uh, YouTube, uh, when that's working because it's been hit and miss, unfortunately. And, of course, over on the Sorgatron Media Twitch page. As I'm just remembering, I did not boot those up to see what the ta- chat rooms are doing. So we're going to say sure. hi to you guys here sure. momentarily. Yes. Uh, we are we are getting dick suggestions from the ladies in the chat room. Oh, we are. <laughs> we are. Oh, uh, Dick, dick, dick Vital and Dick Justice. So, so I like yeah. the ladies are calling their dick shots right now. <laughs> Name that dick. By the, way, by the way, Matt, your lady prefers Dick Vital. There you go. It's awesome, so, baby. Uh, What's everybody wanting about Dick right now? <laughs> Ronnie sat up for this one. <laughs> I, walked, I, I walked away. I walked away for two seconds, and I came back to the girls want Dick, and I'm like, "What the fuck?" <laughs> we yeah. Even, yeah, we haven't even gotten to Patreon yet, Ronnie. Uh, yeah, so thank yeah. you, our Patreon partners, our Patreon uh, uh, peoples at patreoncom slash show, our friends at the fan of the show level. Bo Diggity! Woo! As well as Ed Burke, Bobby F. J. Town, Team Hamifist at the Poppy Club, Bradley Ruthers, Dave Potter, Daniel Tyree, Teeny Keys at the Pizza Club, our friends Doc Remedy and Kyle Turner, and at the Manager Twenty Dollar Level, OccupyProWrestling.com, at Farmsworth Investments, and and at least until Mike remembers to cancel because it's not Patreon in the bank season, Matt Mike himself. This, this will be the last day. So hey the man, and the Superman. Things are crazy right now. I gotta pay that podcast host bill. It gets kind of stiff. Uh, I really appreciate it. You you've definitely. I think you you exclusively pay for all of our wrestling mayhem so podcast posts for the month so i appreciate it <laughs> so sorry sorry from now on i will only contribute in dick togo picks so. okay <laughs> i i'll just forward those on to our hosting company and see what happens exactly <laughs> yes. by the way the best thing about dick togo is if you spell it out and you are not good with your uh with your keyboard on your phone it could be dick to go and then that's a different conversation <laughs> <laughs> Hey, everybody's got to take out these days, right? I don't know. That sounds exactly. like a pretty good. That sounds like a pretty good business plan in these times. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Um. Anyways, uh, damn it! I just pick up killed. only curb, curbside delivery. Dick Togo. <laughs> <laughs> I, I can't. I can't transition to into parenting from there. I'm not. I'm not. Yeah, that we good. can't. I don't. Sorry, <laughs> I'm a comedian, and then you know, me and Mike are getting going, and you know. <laughs> Aaron, Aaron, and you... now, now we're starting a new business. <laughs> uh, for the uninitiated, I don't know if I'm, I don't know if I'm getting me buyers. <laughs> oh damn I mean, it! I don't, kink, I don't kink shame, but still, no, no all, all all kinks are, are are recognized on this show. Sometimes celebrated. Um, <laughs> so, uh, Aaron, thank you so much for being on the show. Now, now you mentioned you mentioned your you you know weren't highly into wrestling, but you've been getting more into it. Um, yeah. for an interesting reason lately. Yeah, I, you know, um, 
I so my friend uh, of course shared his WWE Network password with me, right? <laughs> Excellent. And uh, well, actually, you know, I was hanging out with him, my friend in LA, and he was like, you know, here, check this out. You know, when I was staying at his place, and I was like, oh, this is amazing. You know, I started getting into it about a year ago, like watching the old stuff. And then when I get home, you know, he's like, here, you know, have the password, you know, blah blah blah. And then I see the 2018 Elimination Chamber mm-hmm. women's match. Mm-hmm. I think it was the first one they did. Yeah. And and uh, this was, I think, maybe seven or eight months afterwards, right? But I just, my little girls, you know, I have an 11-year-old daughter and a five-year-old little girl. And they're like, what is this? They're like, what? <laughs> because, le- like, my daughters, they will, they love playing dress up and princesses, but also will play Black Panther and Wonder Woman. And like, you know, they'll run around in the yard covered in glitter with swords and shields. And like, you know, Um, so they saw wrestling. They saw these women (laughs) who were gorgeous, who were beating the crap out of each other like warriors. And I saw my little girl's eyes. They were like, what is this? <laughs> like they, they immediately, I mean, they're just, especially my little one, she, my, my tiny, this little girl, she is just turned five. Mm-hmm. She's tiny little, we call her little chicken. Okay. She, th- this rage builds inside of her, this excitement. She can't <laughs> wait now to dive off the couch. She beats the crap out of her nine-year-old brother. It's so much fun now. It's. I mean, we we just caught up on. Uh, well, we just caught up on Raw. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah. So, uh, and I will tell you, in the last about year, I've been watching wrestling, gentlemen. I have only watched female wrestling. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> so no, honestly, honestly, the only I've the, yeah. the female wrestling has been some of the best stuff, dude. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, <laughs> I, oh, yeah. I I have watched uh, it's kind of a thing where we're, we'll, we'll watch a girls match and then they'll go like get a shower so I'll leave on a match you know and I'll watch it a little bit and man women are killing it mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. it is mm-hmm. so fun it's entertaining they don't take themselves too seriously it is it's awesome so much fun uh, have you watched Evolution the all women pay per view uh, we did man <sighs> Okay. I did. I th- I'm pretty okay. sure I did. That's, that's yeah, a, that's a whole show of all of all women pay per view. Uh, yeah, I think was, when was that? It was uh, uh, 2018. October, I think October 20. Mm, maybe not. We probably rewatched it. Like we, you okay. know, that Saturday mornings. You know, we be like, "What do you want to do? We're making pancakes," and they're like, "Let's watch Elimination Chamber again." You know, like <laughs> so. <laughs> we probably have watched that. So um, I'd also I'd also recommend the May Young Classic. Yes. Mm. Yeah. I think. Yeah. 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 Yeah, because that's just like the whole tournament. So, so is, is that is that a choice for the women's thing, or they just gravitate towards that on your end? Um, we we kind of joke around. I mean, you know, we're kind of a comedy family, so mm-hmm. we're always making like goofing goofing on stuff, and uh, and like really, we're just like we we watch stuff and we shit on stuff together. So like <laughs> the guys will come on, and my my kids are like, "This is boring." This is boring. <laughs> and. and and you know what? It made me watch it uh, a little bit differently. I'm thinking like, yeah, I mean, you know, the women don't exactly have the the multiple opportunities to have these feats of strength mm-hmm. like like the men do, you know? And so it's like they do compensate in certain ways with their acting and their their I mean, it's it's phenomenal. I don't know. I'm I don't want to talk about guys that are like literally experts in this and I'm over here a pedestrian. <laughs> um like I'm literally uh, go, like you know I'm the guy at my first raw in the arena like hey guys I love wrestling and you're like shut the fuck up bro we've all been see, there at some point you see Aaron yeah. you're exactly the kind of person we need more of right now we need more mm. just like I'm just here for the show let's just watch it's, yeah. it's, let's just it's do so it so much know? fun it's so Hold much on. fun we're professionals <laughs> I mean you know some of us Ronnie. I'm not. I'm not. <laughs> uh, well, technically, you're the only one here that's professionally wrestled. So, I mean, yeah, sure. <laughs> well, yeah, was- I, I had some wrestling days. Oh, I wish, Sorg, I got to get it. I have home video footage of me and my brothers wrestling in 99 and 2000. 
<laughs> oh, jeez. In the backyard of the projects. Oh, oh, yeah, baby. Now you need to do this, and then you need to commentate <laughs> oh, in character over I know. It, right? I think, uh, <laughs> I think I had some tie-dye. I was being a little dude love, I remember. Uh, it was during... 99. Yeah. Yeah, right. Yeah. We were... Uh, I think it was... Uh, we film, We. I think we filmed it before backlash 2000 for some reason that's that's in my head does that make that is that am i right about that no backlash 2000 pretty much the entire free world was watching around backlash 2000 so you're you're right on the money backlash 2000 was right after the rock hosted snl for the first time so yeah 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 so so i i have a little bit of history of wrestling i also uh staged wrestling matches matches in college uh, but there are more comedy wrestling matches. Like, uh, I fought a re- uh, a folding chair outside of my student union. Uh, <laughs> I put up posters for it. It was noon on a Friday. Uh, and I was in a speedo. Um, and we used to have wrestling matches at our, we used to have end of the year bonfires and we ended up building a wrestling ring and, uh, fighting furniture. Uh, okay. so it was like me and my roommate, uh, and, you know, we would come up with characters, theme music, everything, and uh, then we would fight a recliner. Um, we, we also, <laughs> we, we used to have a <laughs> on this show years ago called Should I Wrestle That? Mm-hmm. Yes. Our old, host, uh, our old host, Doc Remedy, he would bring in stuff and he would say, should I wrestle that? Which was usually just him crashing into whatever the item was. Yeah, he, <laughs> uh, he body splashed an entire, like, baby swing. Uh, in the studio one time, that was Great fun. Bit. That was fun. It was good. It's they're they're good still bit. up there. They're still up there. Just That's um, I'm, I'm, I'm sure nobody else has done. Should I wrestle that? <laughs> so. <laughs> he, That's and, great. Uh, he also he at one one point during this he cross body blocked the the kiss stuff a bus. <laughs> 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 that was probably the highlight of it. So, um, did you do one in New York where he wrestled a manhole cover? Uh, <laughs> I thought those were videos when we were just looking for the Rat King. Yeah, but I think it was a, I think it was kind of an impromptu did I wrestle that. I guess a little bit. Then he realized yeah. he had never left the manhole cover. Oh, yeah. No, they're impossible. To yeah. Lose. Yeah. Yeah. He's like just using his fingers. I'm like, yeah, man, I don't think that's going to work. So, no. yeah, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so, so are they so they're well, a year into wrestling now, right? So, yeah, pretty much. So, so has, has this kind of like and, and and that's 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 interesting. So th- is this like is this like the anti Disney princess thing then for a lot of girls? Uh, it's I I don't know because th- I I think it uh like I said with my girls it all lives in the same realm. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Uh, they they bounce between you know princesses and Barbies and you know uh chopping off uh Darth Vader's head. You know what I mean? <laughs> like I mean. Solid. My five year old runs around, runs around in a Ray costume, you know, chopping up Sith and then, you know, want to wrestle. And I mean, you know, they are, you know, I'm proud to say they're, they're pretty, pretty woke women. <laughs> they're, they're beautiful. They're beautiful and beating ass. I, what can I, I can't complain. <laughs> Absolutely. I, you I, know, they're strong do they have, women. Do they I have love favorites? it. Do they have favorites? Like, yeah. You know, yeah, they do. Uh, I will say our family favorite first, I will say, is Asuka. Um, She's really fun. She's really fun to watch. Uh, Me personally, I think she's amazing technique. Also, um, I I don't know how to explain it to my five-year-old that screaming gibberish Japanese isn't appropriate, but it's pretty damn funny (laughs) over here. Um, (laughs) um, uh, are we are we gonna my, have a problem where that's how she's gonna respond to the the teachers in school? <laughs> I mean, hey, as long as she doesn't answer with "No one is ready for Oscar," I think you're. Yeah, right. I mean, my little tiny little blonde little chicken girl, she's running around like "Who's gonna go? Who's gonna?" Like, it's, <laughs> it's so ridiculous. Yeah, um, it's a wonderfully bad, amazing yeah. anime, like in real life. Yeah. <laughs> it's just. Uh, yeah, it's um, but you, uh, you need to take a video of it and send it to Oscar. 
Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you should. Well, she she asked. She wanted the makeup too. She asked if she could get like the 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 green drips. <laughs> she she put a green bath bomb in her in her bath, and she's like, "I have an Oscar bath." We were like, "What?" Like, <laughs> um, but I I will say my 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 little one is she's the she she loves cheetah, so she loves uh Carmela just for the cheetah. Mm-hmm. Uh, but you know, we all know Carmela's cardboard, but anyway, um, (laughs) um, I told you, I'm starting to get into it. Um, uh, yeah. If you watch Carmela from a couple of years ago, yeah, she had had a really good little run. Yeah. Oh, okay. She had a really good little run. She, she's been absent like the past six months or so, but a couple of years ago, she had a really good little run. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Uh, but uh so she likes that she loves uh we love naomi naomi's just fun it's like a dance party she mm-hmm. loves naomi's a- naomi's athleticism is my girls love her athleticism um but uh my little one she's obsessed with charlotte flair i mean mm-hmm. that is the queen and now i also have my little tiny little tiny blonde five-year-old running around going Woo! <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> It's, like, she does the spin and then whoo, I mean <laughs> my kids change characters every hour okay we're a house of comedy it's like a cartoon house over here I love it so have you ever like especially with Charlotte like have you ever shown them like Ric Flair like oh yeah, yeah. At some point? It's gotta I, be- I, I started showing I think I showed them a little bit of best of Ric Flair and then of course bloody forehead Ric Flair comes out <laughs> and you know and we're like oh Oh, oh. <laughs> that's my girls draw the line there. Yeah, they yeah. like some bloody match comes on. Oh, oh, oh. So <laughs> it's, you know, uh, but yeah, they, they, uh, they're, I told them, they're like, yeah, her, their dad, her dad's a legend. You know, he's like one of the best. And they're like, whoa, that's why she's the best, you know? Mm-hmm. And well, yeah, I mean, rightfully so. She is mm-hmm. pretty great. Mm-hmm. Amazing. Amazing. <laughs> uh, I, yeah. I just wanted to, let me interject. Sort of, I don't want Aaron no, to please. feel so bad about his, uh, his youngest like shouting Japanese gibberish <laughs> in his house because my my youngest who is who is ten, uh, I have exposed him to just a, a little bit too much New Japan pro wrestling. Oh, no. yeah. And when he's up there and he's playing with the action figures, he is doing the introductions like he's trying to do the ring announcer in New Japan. But of course, like your daughter, he has no clue what the hell they're saying. So it's just like I love you it. Know, John Moxley, you know, it's like thanks. I love Can it. you just keep this in the house? Can we just keep this in the house? I love yeah. it. Someone told me to watch that, that my kids would really like that. Oh yeah. Uh and uh and the um oh the uh the lucha the luchador, what's it called? It's just called Lucha Underground? Lucha, Lucha Underground? Yeah, Lucha Underground. Yeah. Um, maybe for the eleven year old. I don't know if I'd expose the five year old. Okay. Yeah, that's gets okay. a little risque. And <laughs> okay. I usually and... check it out first. Yeah, I usually yeah. check it out. In the, in the first episode, my son Chavo may like Guerrero, it. In the first episode, Chavo Guerrero smashes a woman in the face with a chair. Oh, okay. <laughs> well <laughs> Well so then that, my daughters my daughter really gotta like yeah. Create that's like a baseline of a, a baseline wrestling viewing yeah. before you go to Lucha yeah. Underground. That yeah. way, the shock right. value just yeah. hits you like a truck. So maybe, maybe my son, my son actually, uh, he uh, loves Rey Mysterio. He, yes. you know, he's one. He, he loves Rey Mysterio, and uh, we have since I told you we kind of made fun of the men's wrestling. We like we did watch some Rey Mysterio. I took him back and showed some on YouTube. You know, we, you know, my my son and I have showed him a little more. You know, men's wrestling, but. Um, Ray Mysterio. Uh, what was I gonna say about Ray Mysterio? I bought him a mask, <laughs> a, a wrestling mask, when I was in South America. You know, it's one of those things. You know, you yeah. just whatever. Yeah, sure. Uh, I was like, this is, this is a cool Ray. Like, this is a really great wrestling mask for like you know fifteen dollars or whatever. You know, and so ever since then, it's one of those things. My son's like, wow, this is. I told him what it was, and so now he he, he likes Ray Mysterio, but. Uh, uh, yeah. Have you seen the uh, the Netflix movie, the main event? Oh yeah, <laughs> we did not. We did not watch that. Oh, we're watching oh. the Big Show show, which is pretty good actually. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, yeah, the, yeah. So. The main event is actually really cool. It's like a, okay, um, it's a luchador mask that has magical powers. Oh, okay. So, we might actually so, yeah. run into that. Yeah, but look um, at this. This is like, underground. 
Lucha yeah. Underground is good. Like you'll recognize a lot of people because most of them are in WWE now. So. Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. Mm-hmm. Like uh, Ricochet's Ricochet was in Lucha Underground. Ray was in Lucha Underground. John Morrison. Um, God, I can't even think. I know there's a bunch more. Um, who else was in Lucha that's in WWE now? Oh, Fantasmo. Like yeah, yeah, yeah. There, there, are, there are a few people. There are yeah, so many. yeah. They'll, they'll pop up and be like, I, I like, I remember that guy from before. I or I remember that guy from now. Right? <laughs> like you'll see like Jack yeah. Swagger in there. I'm like, hey, you know, uh, <laughs> you know, things like that. But it's like, wow, he's really different here and kind of cooler. Uh, so this a lot is of that. great. This is like I'm like a new fan, and I'm like I get to be like have like dad's advice. I'm like, hey guys. Help me out here. <laughs> this is great. Yeah. That's what we do. We're, we're here to help everybody out in I got whatever very, the wrestling situation. I got, I got very uh, uh, surface level opinions, okay? Mm-hmm. So, you know. Uh, fine. Depending on who you ask, we have very surface level opinions. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean Charlotte Flair's awesome. Uh Bailey is dumb. Uh, <laughs> uh what else? So I need uh, I need to do some business row back uh here, Aaron. If if you can hang out with us for another ten minutes, yep. I got another uh, uh thing I'd love to do with you here. But in the meantime, I and and, and I love I love kind of going along with this. Of course, we got a lot of fun stuff going on over at indie wrestling.us, indie wrestling network, and uh, along with that, and we're putting stuff out here, even even with the wall and no live events, we're 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 kicking up some some new content for you guys getting some shows getting some best ofs um and even working on some new content new recorded content in the near future too that, that that's in the works uh but uh, uh in the chat room uh there's actually a few call outs for some of the local indie girls that you should probably check out too including uh ziggy heim and honey badger uh as a part of that i would also i also definitely recommend katie arquette another great local Britt baker of course is from here uh, Ray Lynn, um, Kitty or Ket, you should probably look up because sh- there was actually a really fun spot where she was it, she was in a match and actually had David Arquette involved in it oh, yeah. here in Pittsburgh, and uh, it was a really cool moment there. Um, I, I, I think it's so, th- those, are, those are some girls that maybe uh, 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 your girls could uh, gravitate towards too. But a lot to explore if you are, if you find yourself with a lot of time. Um, there's over 300 hours of content from here in the Pittsburgh area, West Virginia, um, the Cleveland area, Ohio, uh, a lot of great stuff going on there. Uh, so you can go check it out, explore some new stuff. See Ronnie, Ronnie Starks getting, I don't know, doing something at ringside. <laughs> I didn't have no segue there. Sorry, Ronnie. Uh, but I do things sometimes. he yells at things. He blows a whistle. He points his fingers up in the air. He gets, he gets shoddily kidnapped. Uh, he, can, he can do it all. He can do it all. He's he's just like a canary. If you throw a sheet over his head, you can lead him anywhere. Don't um, threaten him with a good time. Guys. <laughs> <laughs> you can find out how Ronnie likes to have a good time uh, at IndieWrestling.us. <laughs> so, <laughs> and thank you, everybody. That's so supporting. <laughs> I will literally do anything for work. That's, yes, he will. <laughs> yes, he will. Let's be honest. That, that wasn't hey, even. Hey, me too. <laughs> <laughs> I'm These are boy. hard times, and that wasn't even a custom. So, <laughs> um, I'll do anything. I'm on a wrestling podcast on a Tuesday night. Is it Tuesday? Yeah, that's how we go down. I, 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 Is it Tuesday? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, There's too many people here to be the Monday show, and and the Thursday show is all wrestlers. So I'm pretty oh, sure I know where I'm at right now. I hope that's, I hope that's the right logo in the corner. Uh, so my, my yeah, you have a show on Monday and it freaked me out. I was like, was I supposed to be on Monday? I want- <laughs> yeah, way to, way to fuck that up. <laughs> uh, but, but anyways, so, so, so we got, we got a couple dads on the show and I, I thought it'd be fun to kind of throw back and, and talk about uh, either favorite dad, favorite dads or favorite dad moments from wrestling. There's a lot of father, a lot of father, son, you know, Flair and Charlotte, like we were talking about. Uh, so, and I, I don't know if you've come across a lot in your uh, 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 surface diving in, Aaron, but like, what, what are, what are, you know, you know, f- you know, favorite should, dads or, I, have you learned anything about being a father from professional wrestling? I tell you what, I, you know, I think I should go out on this because I got a good one. Mm-hmm. Okay, so let me let. Okay, I'll say I'll bring it back to me, but I'll first say I will say um, 
one of the most uh, fun things, and then I'll and then I'll come back around, and then okay. I'll close on this because okay. I forgot about this. There's something next to me that I have to share with you guys. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> um, we love, is we, super, we love props. That, that was a that that is one of the f- most fun moments in in this wrestling fandom with my kids. But I will say, watching my kids like move the table, you know, <laughs> and like. And they and they just get so creative. Like my, I told you, my little one, I call her Lil Fire Cat. Okay, <laughs> she her, she they they learning about selling like the moves and like selling getting hurt and like so my little one is like ah ah ah, ah and we're like are you okay? And she's like yeah, like she <laughs> we're like oh we're like she played us. Uh, when she when they're acting so much and so well, I'm like, oh my gosh, this is a trip. Like it's it's so much fun to see them being so creative and having fun with it. It really is. Awesome. What about you? what yeah. about you, Matt? Are you are you getting life dad lessons from this? Uh, every day is a dad lesson. Aaron knows that. Mm. Um, <laughs> so, but I'll tell you this too. Um, we have um, uh, well, I am uh, an uncle now. Mm-hmm. Uh, two time uncle and uh, my niece. Two time not- uncle. Two time. Two time. Two time uncle. <laughs> and uh, now that um, uh, we have a niece uh, who is three years old, her name is Lucy, and she somehow my youngest Mason kind of got Lucy sort of interested in at least you know getting close to what Mason would perceive as wrestling with him to the point where now. Anytime you get them together at a family gathering, like Lucy's first move is to go over to Mason and just kind of like do a worked punch right to the jaw and Mason <laughs> just dropped, you know, and Lucy thinks it's the funniest stuff in the world. And she will just run this routine constantly to beat him up, throw him around, be the horse. Come on, Mason, you know, do it. You know, anyway, yeah. you know, oh. so it's kind of cute to see, you know, him I love it. Being I, I like- the youngest to be the older, you know, older cousin to, uh, to uh, his younger cousin, I'm, I'm glad to see at this young age, and and Ronnie, you know, back me up on this. It, it's good to see that he's he's all about taking the heat already. Uh, uh. <laughs> well, he's he's learning well, because yeah. because I'll tell you what, man, a lot of guys don't want to take the heat. Yes, right. <laughs> what about you, Ronnie? Now, he, now, oh, now you put him in the ring with his brother, mm-hmm. with his older brother, then there there's no selling happening at all. Mm-hmm. It is. It is <laughs> It's shoot fight city. It's all it's all waist locks. Uh-huh. It's, it's wrist holds. And they're just they're manhandling each other, and the bar dog barking constantly. That's what happens when the brothers fight. That's good so, shit. That's that is good. Some shoot fight action in the like living room. Good old trailer fight. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, what about you, Ronnie? Got any good dad moments from well, last week? Gonna say I'm not a dad, so no, not just you're a dad, but any like any dad memories, like 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 Vince is a dad. That's not a great one. But... <laughs> oh God, no, he's probably the worst example. Yes, not what the not to had, do. The man had a pay per view match with his daughter days before her actual wedding. Oh, God. <laughs> like that's real. Yeah, the match was Vince versus Stephanie. Triple H and Stephanie were getting married that Wednesday. It was an I quit match, if I recall. It was right? an I quit yeah. match. Like it was, yeah. If, uh, if we're talking about bad dad moments, uh, I'm really disappointed Mark Henry never raised that hand. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, the reunion was a little weird. Yeah. It's like, hey, dad. It's like, oh, hey, son. I'll be yeah. over there. It's kind of like all the examples you go to. That's that. All right. Okay. Just give uh, me a hand. Just give me a hand. Oh, Let's give Ronnie a hand. Oh. Matt, right, Matt, so, Mike, what about you? All right. I have, I have one uh, on television example and I have one real life example. Okay. Um, so, so the dad I go to when I think about dads and wrestling is Al Wilson. Oh, jeez. <laughs> Corey oh, Wilson's God, dad. No. Oh, jeez. Oh, and, my God. Who was he? Who was he paired with? Who was he uh, marrying? Don Don Marie. Don Marie. So this man, he was brought on. I don't even know why. Tori tells it the best in her Hall of Fame speech. Mm-hmm. But Al Wilson was brought on as a character. He was an old man, <laughs> and in the storyline, he married Don Marie, mm-hmm. who was feuding with Tori Wilson. 
Mm-hmm. And then they had a mother-in-law versus stepdaughter match. Mm-hmm. <laughs> which, can, which can also be a search term on Pornhub. Yes, it probably. I, the, if you want to watch the match in full, it's probably on Pornhub. I really. You guys are really gonna make me look right now. Right? I, I might be looking. I might be. Hold on, guys. Turn it. Spoiler alert: the night of the wedding, the character of Al Wilson died due to too much sex. Yes. Yes. <laughs> that just means Don Marie was really good at what she does. Yes, it does. It wow. absolutely does. Yeah. Hall yeah. of Fame. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so my real life story um i remember when i was a kid they used to run wwf shows up around my area all the time mm-hmm. and always me my mom my dad my sister and sometimes just me my mom and my sister and, and that's that hot poughkeepsie area that we always uh, yes uh poughkeepsie was a hotbed for wwf action back in the mid 90s mm-hmm. but the only time I ever, the first time I ever went to a show with my dad by myself was ECW, Hardcore Heaven. ECW, ECW. It, it Dude, I'm pay- so jealous right now. It was a pay per view. So, like, the first match was Sabu versus, I think, Bubba Ray Dudley. Nice. And naturally, within five minutes, Sabu fucked up a move. <laughs> so, <laughs> now I had been watching ECW at 3 a.m. on MSG. To my knowledge, my dad had never seen it. Oh, no. Oh, wait, 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 wait. wait. And you took him to a live show for his first experience. Yes. <laughs> yes. And it was my dad, so I didn't, I didn't really care. I knew yeah. he'd be fine. Yeah. But as soon as Sabu watched a move, everyone started chanting, you fucked up. You fucked up. <laughs> and I looked at my dad, like, because I, 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 like, immediately, I'm like, wait. I looked up. He's like, you can say it. Just don't tell mom. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, wow. you fucked up. You fucked up. And I lost my voice that night. It was amazing. That's fantastic. <laughs> uh, and, all- and, I, and I told Paul Heyman that exact same story. And he bought me a <laughs> <laughs> also comparatively i made sure I, I i showed my father and explained what was going to happen when we went to an icp concert together so <laughs> yeah. he's, a, he's a real trooper for going to an icp concert. yeah, yeah he, he drew me and a friend from college uh up and because it was the only place the one tour was happening was in columbus so we're like let's go to columbus and the, uh and, and, did you say he's a juggalo now oh he he always was <laughs> he always was um, I, I loved, he walked in and I know this isn't a wrestling story, but he walked in and there was a guy, um, um, I think it was the electric factory or maybe that's Philadelphia, but, um, um, no, a Newport hall. And, uh, the guy is like the, the security guard is in makeup and, and has a fake hatchet or, uh, ax kind of thing. Right. And he's walking in doing security check. My dad walks up. He's like, Hey, Aerosmith isn't this week, sir. Uh, <laughs> so, and then, and so I'm like, here, if you stand here in the back, you should be safe. And, you know, not that I'm worried about him. He's 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 pretty much my size and has military training, so I'm like he can take anybody. I'm I'm, I'm fine with him. <laughs> um, and uh, he, I look back, I watch one thing of Fago go by and hit <laughs> right beside his head on the pillar, <laughs> way in the back. And he's, like, he's like, I was gonna be safe, huh? I'm like, eh, they can throw those things. So, uh, from the <laughs> chat room, a lot going on. Uh, and we'll get back to you, Aaron, so you can get out of here. Uh, let's see. Uh, Alex says uh, uh, his daughter hitting the RKO on her brother is great. Um, uh, Carlin says, is that your your kids are doing the best friends hug? Uh, I think uh, they've got Lucy. Being the, the worst Cassidy and the best friends hug now. <laughs> oh, that's, no, that's they've got that worked out. Now you got to take your iPhone and do the super zoom when they do it. I'm gonna work on that. <laughs> okay, all right. Don't hurt yourself. Don't hurt yourself. Yeah. You know, I love a good best friend slash rainmaker zoom. So oh, absolutely. I'm, I'm, I'm still that. trying to roll that into a wrest- a real wrestling <laughs> show around here. Uh, <laughs> favorite moment, Randy? Uh, no, no, that that part. Uh, junior Junior's on like cloud nine when he got to meet New Day and Zack Ryder. Uh, uh, Potter says Dusty Rose looking at Stardust and Dustin and just saying, man, I have weird kids. <laughs> <laughs> oh, geez, this is awesome. Um, uh, so, so Aaron, you, you wanted us to roll back to you, uh, for, a moment. so, so what yeah. do you got there? It's prop time before right? I leave. Yes. Oh, spe- oh, I gotta say one more thing. I talk in post-it notes. Sorry. That's fine. Uh, speaking of RKO's, we have as a family devoured every single funny, RKO video on YouTube. Yes. 
we laugh so damn hard. My kids laugh so damn hard. It's so ridiculous. Him RKO in a plane. Come on. It's just, <laughs> come on. Okay. All right. Before I leave, I got to show you something. Oh, gosh. So this is this is one of the most pr- one of the most proud moments as a wrestling dad. You know, my kids are playing, they're wrestling, you know, mm. weeks and weeks. We're we're you know, we're at a point now where, you know, uh this is I'm painting the picture, you know. Yeah. We're at a point where we've we've caught up on wrestling at least, you know, you know, six, seven, eight weeks in a row, right? This is you know, we're really getting into it. And uh my my little one comes in the room and she asks her older sister to come help her. And then she runs back in with this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this is her Charlotte Flair belt. Uh-huh. Oh, and nice. she comes in Bravo. and she carries it. And then she said, no, she goes, Charlotte's the NXT champion. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god beautiful well, so, so her sister made her an NXT championship beautiful and then that sweet little girl said that her sister needed one so they could be tag team champions yeah right. so these are our three paper I, belts bravo. so we have, champions. <laughs> I go I go hey I go hey I want to show the guys I go, oh wait, no. I go, I go, hey, um, I need I need your belts. And my little one goes, Why do you need our belts? Like she was ready to, <laughs> she ready to cut a promo on you. She was ready to defend it. Oh, we do promos. I'll go, I'll look at her across the room at like breakfast and I'll go, tonight, you and me. And she'll go, she'll go, no, me and you a night. At night, me and you at night. Like she <laughs> that's her whole promo. Me and you at night. <laughs> hey, that that's better than half of the people I've seen. Oh, yeah, that's good. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. Better than Carmella. Whoa! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> See, I don't, is he on a wobbly chair? Is he on a exercise ball over there? Like that movement I'm is nimbly. Wild. I'm nimbly. I can still take a bump, okay? I'm like he's moving like a Muppet. That's crazy. No. <laughs> <laughs> this reminds me of Kermit going. Rah! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I've been watching a lot of that new Fraggle Rock, guys. So, <laughs> so I got to get the belts back. Mm. Uh, no, you guys, thanks for letting me hang out with you guys. Uh, I'm sure you know at some point in the future I'll have more things to talk about, and I'll probably dig even more into wrestling. So. Absolutely, absolutely. Oh, uh, you know it's a sickness. You know I'll know more yep. when I come back. Yep. Before you hop off, does everyone have a match recommendation that we can throw out? Because I, I have one. Um, all right. Oscar versus Kyrie uh, versus Nikki Cross. Last woman. Ooh. standing. Oh, from NXT. Oh, it's an awesome match. Yes. It's, very, match. Good. it's uh, very, very good. It's very, very good. It's Oscar right in the middle of her really long title. Run. NXT match. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Mm, okay. You, got it. Look up anybody you like now, and uh, and look up What's NXT. NXT? I, I, I was gonna say I was gonna say Sasha and uh, Bailey, and what was did they do? Brooklyn. Brooklyn. Yeah, no, the first did. Sasha versus Bailey from the first NXT Brooklyn. It's like yeah, really yeah. far back. It, it's years ago, but it's incredible. 2015, I think. Yeah. Wow. 2015, I think. But yeah. I'm really writing these down. Yeah, yeah no, yeah. please do. They're, they're Wait, extra. Matt, Matt, what was the one you were saying, NXT Brooklyn? That's the Sasha versus Bailey match. Oh, okay. And it's awesome. It, I mean, it, it's it's... That that is the tipping point of women's wrestling in wow. the yeah, era in which we had, we're living. Two people just say it in the chat room too. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. 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 <laughs> it's basically um, unanimous at this point. I um, love this. This is exciting. I, I, I was I was in the arena live for that match. Wow. I legit shed tears. It was wow. um, <laughs> absolutely amazing. Same. Well, nice. Well, thank you for uh suggesting wrestling matches. I would like to suggest comedy to you guys. Please do. I I would love to suggest uh, that you go watch a comedy special on Amazon Prime called Grown Ass Dad, mm-hmm. uh, written and performed by Aaron Clavery. You should go check that out. <laughs> it's uh, yep, it's hilarious. I know, I know, Mike, you were checking out some clips going into this. I, I, I saw, like, because uh, Sorg was like, we have, we have a comedian, come on, just, you know, look look him up, see what you can find out. I found a, a bit from you at the Gotham's, Gotham Comedy Club. Oh, yeah. From, like, 
five or six years ago. Yeah. And the first thing you said was you wanted to beat up your baby child. I'm like, he's going to fit in. It's fine. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's fit in just well, yeah, that's an old bit I used to do that I have to wait till my son's 18 to fight him. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I, I heard that. I'm like, yep, I'm, I'm not concerned at all. It's going to be a good fit. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's funny. There you go. Well, thank you so much for coming on. Uh, and again, thank you. When, when you have the itch, let me know. Hop on anytime. All right. Even if I you're, love it. Thanks, even if you're bored on the Monday night, that's even looser. So. Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. I love it. <laughs> so. You don't even have to talk about wrestling if you show up on Monday. No, we so barely do. We out. really yeah. barely do. Ooh. It's usually can... me talking about whatever Legos I'm building. Yeah, I could talk yeah. about nonsense all day. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> that's our specialty. Yeah, it is. It really is. <laughs> It really should be our tagline at this point. Wrestling Cam <laughs> Show, talking about nonsense all day. Our, our old reviews 10 years ago on iTunes were all about, it's a really good show that kind of barely gets to wrestling, but it's entertaining. So I was like, mm, all right. Sometimes we lean on wrestling, sometimes we lean on mayhem, but usually we're a show. I do fit in. I do. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you so much. Check it out. See you, dude. Check it out on Prime Video. And also, please check out somebody else that's supporting us for, has supported us for so long now here in the Pittsburgh area. And now is the time to support friends that have been supporting us for a while. Our friends at Slice on Broadway, if you're in the area, uh, of course, four locations of Pittsburgh, supporting Pittsburgh podcasting with the perfect pepperoni pizza. Go check them out. Please, uh, 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 pizza up, pepperoni up. Like there's a freight there's I'm working on that there's some there's something in there right Mike like that feels that feels right that feels right but it needs a little bit more uh, pepperoni like, power up pepperoni power up hopefully we're not stealing something from the Ninja Turtles uh, <laughs> and uh, <laughs> remind me to tell you for gold my Ninja Turtle uh, run in I had here before the show uh, but anyways uh, so on the pizza line but please go check them out sliceonbroadway.com support our friends that support some wonderful podcasting uh, so thank you so much and uh, thank you, Aaron Kleiber. And we will be back. We kind of had a sort of a uh, big question, but we'll definitely have some more wrestling to catch up on and talk about right after this. Sidekick Media Services. We are your sidekick in business for social media, video production, and more. Find out more at SidekickMediaServices.com. Yo, it's your boy Facade, the Suburban Terrorist, and you're listening to the Wrestling Mayhem Show. All right. We, you you know what? I'm, I'm coming back on this. I'm what coming. did you think of this? I'm coming first. back on this. Hold on a second. <laughs> yeah, we're just, we're just, we're just rolling this right now. Um, so, all on. right. When yeah. you I and remember. I first got together, I all right. Remember, I don't remember any of that happening. And <laughs> and we're trying to figure out, you know, okay, what's she like? What's he like? Oh, what did you think when? Wow, she likes wrestling. That wasn't the first. Thing that came up when we were uh, being vetted for one another was it? <laughs> I bet Wait. I know what the first thing that was that came up <laughs> when we were being Shut vetted. <laughs> no, um, we, why are we talking about this? Why are we comfortable? Because um, we need content. <laughs> are we back on? Yes, all right, yeah. Um, what are we talking about? When we first uh, met? Uh, when you first met, when you figured out. I mean, come on. When, when we first I'm, found out. I'm, well, I mean, like. I'm, I'm not like most girls. No, you're not like. <laughs> She's not like most <laughs> girls. <laughs> I mean, come on. Um, I like sports. I like sports. We like sports. But you gotta admit, like, like, when we were first, like, getting together and we were dating, like, wrestling was not. A like primary like foundation of like our relationship. We were like into like like we were into uh, into other stuff, and then like as like time went on, we kind of like oh, we kind of like like wrestling. Okay, well we do like wrestling, but you know we were, for some reason or another we're not compelled to watch wrestling. We just kind of like knew that we had both watched wrestling a lot whenever we were younger, but now we we're less into it. And then something happened. Like so, around the time when we moved back to like Pittsburgh, where we were suddenly like, "Holy, man, let's watch some wrestling!" I think, was it, I think, was it, I think, CM Punk got us back into wrestling. You got you and I like out. completely sparked us. Went went from kind of like we know we both like wrestling, and you know sometimes we'll watch it here and there, but like once the CM Punk thing started, we were like, "Oh my god, we we're both watching wrestling every." And then, then from then on, we're like watching wrestling. 
all the time. And then, like, that's, like, the first WrestleMania we ordered. I remember ordering <laughs> WrestleMania. Is that the one that we jumped up? That was the, it was the. Um, when The Rock Yeah, because WrestleMania 28, Rock and John Cena. And when The Rock pins John Cena, Jen and I jump off the couch and she jumps into my arms and we, ch- yeah! <laughs> We're, like, so excited <laughs> that The Rock won. We did, but no. But when, like when we first started getting to know each other, I mean, what did you think when you're like, "Oh, wow, this chick likes wrestling"? Um, what did you think? Like, <laughs> what a deal! Yes. What a deal! <laughs> the whole package, her. the total package. Yes. What? Just compliment her. That, that's <laughs> like, like this is awesome. We're like, so past the compliment stage. All right, yeah, Jen, we're, we're Jen. way past. You're never past the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> Don't listen to him. <laughs> how long have we? How long have we been married, honey? Oh crap! How long? Sixteen hours. Sixteen hours. Yards. Yards. It's been eighty-four years. That's just, that's just <laughs> advice from my dad. You're never past the compliments. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm just saying. He had a couple of years on you guys. So. No, no, yeah. No, I, 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 I couldn't agree more. It's like, uh, and we are, um, uh, well past the. <laughs> I don't know what stage we're in right now? We're in the um, uh, both loving wrestling stage right now. So <laughs> that's, that's the stage you want to get to. You're in distress. Yeah. Well, we are in stress. We're we're in the lockdown stage of the marriage, and we are in deep distress. Mm-hmm. All right, mm-hmm. <laughs> we are in the homeschool stage of the marriage. I hate and homeschooling. We are in deep distress. <laughs> oh my gosh! I hope I don't screw those two kids up. <laughs> they are screwed up. <laughs> it's bad. We are blowing this thing. Um, <laughs> Uh, that'll be all right. That has been, yeah. I've been seeing, I've seen a couple. Like this is, I anyway, see. This is by far the worst day. Homeschool is a mess. I give up. And then two days later, this is by far the first day, the <laughs> worst day. Right, right. This is we're we're, we're living SCU, except instead of the worst <laughs> town, this is without a doubt the worst day I have <laughs> ever been in. Yeah, it's every day. <laughs> <laughs> oh geez! Uh, the, uh, by the way, the chat room is freaking loving this right now. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, there's a point. Uh, wait, wait! Is Get this your not, is, now? Is this ninety day mayhem? Um, <laughs> <laughs> that was partner. Uh, much much wrestling, very mayhem. So great t- content. So I think I think they're liking this 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 side sidebar we're doing. Listen, man, we're just messing with formats right now. It's okay. To be honest, <laughs> WWE has not lit the world on fire, so we don't have a lot to no, talk about. No, no, no. Other than me saying they stole my idea for the Money in the Bank match a dozen more times, yes. we ain't going to talk about shit until that paper. No, be no. Quick. Just be like, what the hell are you guys going to do? I did enjoy Triple H's uh, conversation with the uh, uh, friend of the show, Corey Graves. Um, um, and uh, it was it was kind of interesting. It was, it, I want to, fun is not the right word. <laughs> it was interesting. <laughs> informative <laughs> informative yes um intriguing uh, to hear his take on that like where they were as things were progressing like that week and how the performance center nxt turned into the t- performance center everything the surreal moment when he walked in and saw a giant wrestlemania sign in that space and and he talked about like what that place looked like before it was a performance center when they were looking at buildings you know and a little bit of like what the plan was um, they weren't supposed to go to the performance center. That is, they actually had, and, and I didn't know why they always had to find other locations in March. Full Sail does their Hall of Fame ceremonies that month, which usually takes them out. Sorg, I, I, I told you this weeks ago. <clears throat> Sorg doesn't listen to me, guys. It all <laughs> fades away. So it classifies it as absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. Was it, was it a Monday night show? Because that explains everything. Was it a drinking night show? Oh, okay. Oh, maybe. Because mm. okay, okay. sometimes I don't stop afterwards. That's a fair point. And <laughs> my beer distributor is closed on Tuesdays now. So. Oh, by the way, I found a service that delivers wine to your door, which mm. has been lovely. I don't drink wine, but the fiance does. And I ordered her four bottles of her favorite. And she loved it. Would, would it be wrong for me to take a trip to the uh, Sheets Beer Cave 
Oh, they're probably not open. No, no, they're probably open. Some at ten o'clock. No, they're not open. Cave is open, sword. What's that? It's open. It's open. The beer wow. cave's open I've there. I've been in the beer cave. I heard the bathrooms are not. I didn't. I was not aware of that. <laughs> I don't care. Beer cave's open. Beer cave's <laughs> open. All right, there might be a trip after. Better than Wawa. You know, I'm gonna be up all night editing anyways. We might as well have fun with it. Um, so. <laughs> What the hell are we doing? I know, but it was interesting to see that kind of timeline of how, you know, they ended up there. They were actually looking at a different location so they could keep doing the USA shows and at a not performance center kind of situation. Um, and that fell through um, uh, multiple times. And that's what ended up with them at the performance center. Hence setting up everything for what we have now and have had for the last month. So... Um, in meantime, in, in positive wrestling news, I love that there was an article that I found on BBC News, of all places, of the Mexican wrestlers are making Lucha Libre face masks. Oh, I saw that. That was a question. Yeah. I, and that was a question I had in, in when we were, I mean, we, we were pontificating what we were going to do in the world of indie wrestling for IndieWrestling.us. Like, okay, what can we do that's, you know, one helpful and, and still keeps it relevant? Um, and it was like, it was like, do we can we make face masks? Can somebody like if we're not, somebody has to be, right? And uh thank you, Mexico, for answering that. So <laughs> but um I, I, I and I, I think I said this on Awesome Cast earlier. Like, I'm kind of like, well, everybody's gonna be wearing these for the foreseeable future. It's time to accessorize, guys. You know, well, maybe not now, but in the near future. Like, I mean, this is gonna be um a a a style, I guess. A statement. A fashion statement. Yeah, I mean, I'm waiting for... I mean, I, I feel like every brand is going to have face masks. Uh, Mike, are you ready for the Ninja Turtle face mask that's just like a Ninja Turtle animated mouth? No, Sorg, I'm just going to stitch a, a, a filter in my Delirious mask. There's that, too. He, and that's, repurpose that's, that's luchador masks. When, when wrestling yeah. does come back, it's just going to be a lot of repurposed luchador masks. Uh, that's how I'm going to roll into work. It's going to be great. If, uh, if I don't get a New World Order mask soon, I'm going to be pissed. <laughs> because of, <laughs> wait, wait, are we talking about the Walmart thing? Yeah, I'm trying to find that shirt actually. I can, so apparently they sell NWO New World Order shirts at Walmart. I think it depends on your Walmart. Yeah, it, it does it. Probably. Okay. Well, this lady, this lady took a shirt, a picture of it, and, and I love even in the picture you see the logo. It's a red one, and you see the WWE logo on the tag. <laughs> even and she just ranted about how walmart is in line with the new world order and then she spouts out a bunch of the liners about what the new world order um um not not the not not the um hey yo stuff uh but the 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 world takeover stuff from the uh uh, uh illuminati new world order i guess um <laughs> so uh it, it it was it was pretty hilarious jeez guys jeez uh but yeah. Oh, it's hard to explain people who are that stupid to other people, Sword. It's hard to just make that, you know, compute whenever we're all sitting here going, it's just the new world. It's just the NWO guy. Yeah. Just yeah. Maybe, uh, maybe we could have that person go ahead and drink that bleach now. Oh. <laughs> oh. Honestly, yeah. I, I'm all for Darwin <clears throat> place at this point. Yeah. Fuck it. Who cares anymore? <laughs> Like the Russian guy says, if they die, they die. You know, <laughs> <laughs> the Russian guy. The Even Russian guy. Dolph, yeah, that guy. Dolph London and Walkie Four. Is that where we're at? Yeah. Okay. If, yeah. If, if he dies, he dies. If he dies, he <laughs> dies. Wow. What a pull. What a pull. Hey, I do. I have a, a question. I asked this to Mad Mike today. Mm. I didn't see Raw last night, oh, oh, but I caught like glimpses on YouTube and stuff. Uh, mm. And did Seth Rollins dye his hair? What did he? I was more distracted by the suit. I thought it was still black. The hair and the, and the beard and the goatee is very dark. Okay. Hmm. Jen, I don't think anyone really pays it that much attention to Seth Rollins' hair. <laughs> I don't even pay that much attention <laughs> to Seth Rollins. I barely pay that much attention to my own hair. <laughs> the lack thereof of my hair. Like, you know. <laughs> Jeez. Sure, yeah, he dyed his hair in his beard. Uh, he, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think he did, because I think if he's trying to pull off that Jesus look, he'd want to keep it as natural brown as possible. Camera tricks. Camera tricks. <laughs> Maybe <laughs> someone's got to him was like, you know what, Seth? You don't want to go full Jesus if you're going to do this gimmick. You got to go like 
90 percent jesus and he's like well how about i change my hair color and they're like you know what that that's good and you'll be all right if you do that <laughs> you no one will think anything of it 90 percent jesus 10 percent cm punk that's it <laughs> <laughs> if he could get to 10 percent cm punk we mm. might find him actually enjoyable now so yep, yep. <laughs> i didn't say cm punk though what's that <laughs> I didn't say which CM Punk. <laughs> Any CM Punk. It might be CM Punk from the MMA world. That's that's not so oh, cool. oh. fun. Fun story about that. Uh, I actually paid tickets and went to Cleveland for his first fight. No, sure did. Not. Why did you do that? Well, we thought it would be a good idea, so we took the road trip to Cleveland. We had good seats too. Yep. Uh, we we were on the floor, hey. and uh, we're like, sweet, we're at a UFC event. I bought the CM Punk UFC T-shirt. I still have it. Mm-hmm. And then he got the shit kicked out of him, and I said, "Wow, that was pretty fucking terrible." <laughs> right. When has going to Cleveland ever resulted in a good idea? Hey, I've, oh, I've had no. some good times in Cleveland. What are you talking about? Have Have you been to the I Milk mean, before? No, I've never been to Cleveland. Then My God, Mike! Cleveland yeah. is actually nice, bro. Jeez. Believe it or not. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> no, I've been. No, Cleveland's a bit scary. Um, <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm just I've had some. Be. I've had no. Okay, I've had some close calls in Cleveland, but I've also had some great times in Cleveland, which all goes together. I uh, only got lost there once. I don't want to experience that. Like, did right? I ever tell you? Um, I didn't mean to cut you off, but uh, did I ever tell you that time I went to the Angora Theater and NXT and uh, Insane Clown Posse were playing in the same building on the same night? On the same night? What? Oh, oh, what? oh yeah. <laughs> what? Yeah. Uh, and same Clown Posse and Twisted were playing downstairs. <gasps> and and then upstairs in the actual arena was uh, NXT. Can I buy <laughs> tickets to both of them? <laughs> just, just... I'll tell you what, man. It was it was a trip. Yeah. When I went down to the merch stand, I saw a bunch of juggalos. And I was like, what the fuck is happening right now? <laughs> <laughs> That's great. That's great, which I then pulls together when I saw it, went to AIW and saw wrestling and the Insane Clown Posse in the ring. So, and in the uh, the Odeon, yeah, the Odeon, which is a place that I've never seen a concert in. So, also, never how's that? Seen, what's that? How's that venue? How's that venue? That was a fantastic venue. And again, like I said about Cleveland, between um, going to ICP shows there, wrestling, um, um, friends concerts that they were um in uh it, yeah no i've i've had some really good good times uh up there like the the concerts are wilder the crowds in the wrestling are wilder you know aiw as a as, as a whole is is wilder and 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 again it's the only time i'm just like god this must be what ecw felt like right i love the ecw like it's just like mike i had you have some of the local pizza see how it compared to new york i need to take mm-hmm. you to an aiw odeon show or, or absolution and be like is this seem right because it felt it fell right okay that's an that's the new goal that's the new goal okay i'm not even trying to get you to pittsburgh wrestling i'm trying to get you to cleveland wrestling you've seen pittsburgh he wasn't gonna fight you about it either he's like okay okay i've seen pittsburgh i haven't seen pittsburgh wrestling in quite a few years no no it, oh, it's quite different than before yeah so, it's okay because yeah. we're probably not going to see it for the next six months. <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> you know, Ronnie, Ronnie, we're toast. It's over. God damn it. <laughs> it's all over now. I, I'm it's hopeful over. I'll at least see some of these people within six months. I hope so. I miss yes. my friend so much. Uh, uh, by the way, I, I'm putting this out there for everyone. I, I put it out there to a lot of my friends. The next time I see any of you motherfuckers, five minute long hug. It's gonna get near me. It's gonna no, get weird. Yeah. It's, it's gonna, gonna get weird. Like ten years. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It has been five years. Ten years. And actually, Carl- I- Carlin says, "I think you're the ones that have seen him the soonest out of any of us." Yeah. So, should we do the dirty dancing lift? Um, maybe. Yes. Maybe. Okay, Ronnie. I'll, I'll pick you up, Mike. I'll do it. <laughs> I, I don't think. Okay, I don't think you guys are not uh, uh, interpreting scale over the webcam. Yeah, I, I don't. Of, I don't, of, I don't of, let me of get each other. Me. You can tell Ronnie has not seen me three dimensional. <laughs> let, let me let me get my shoulder fixed before I pick you up, pal. <laughs> <laughs> Ronnie, I, I don't need you. I don't need you to pop another shoulder blade. It's, it's, like, Ron, Ronnie, what what, we, what percentage we, we is your uh, shoulder at right now? Oh, what is it at? What what percentage is your shoulder at right now? Uh, yeah, right 40, forty forty five percent. Keep those cards. Keep those cards and letters coming. Get well, Ronnie. 
And, uh, <laughs> don't send me shit, people. <laughs> no, no, it's, it's the Ronnie News Network. You got, you got, you got. <laughs> the Ronnie News Network. The Ronnie that News needs to happen. <laughs> it's like, well, guys, uh, I'm about uh, 75% sure I tore my rotator cuff. Tune in tomorrow when I give you the real information. And my lovely physical therapist, Tammy. <laughs> As a guy, I'm like, oh, yeah, guys can be named Tammy, too. It's fine. Exactly. <laughs> I mean, we're trying to this give you Randy gimmick, and you're not letting us. <laughs> we're trying to give you Randy Orton's old gimmick. I'll take it. I don't care. <laughs> I'll just have Ronnie we... playing with like a stick in a puddle. Oh, <laughs> so this Ronnie. is my life now. Mm. This is my life now. Mm. I can't do anything anymore. I'm just fucking screwed. <laughs> How about just a series of just depressed wrestler videos? Just sitting alone in like the backyard. <laughs> you those, dog, those dog videos. As, like, yeah, just Get like Mason. just like an ASPCA PSA. Just like <laughs> just like sadly sitting you, looking you just out a see- window. You hear in the arms of the angels. And yeah, it's, exactly. and it's like EC3 standing in the ring trying to call, do a collar and elbow tie with no one. It's like I'm thinking like <laughs> I'm thinking like even like like more intense. I'm thinking like you know Honey Badger staring out a window at an empty street. Like it's like really intense, kind of like <laughs> sad. Um, I don't know why I just pulled Honey Badger out of thin air, but really Ronnie would work too. I'm gonna. Uh, I'm just gonna set up a gimmick table on my back porch tomorrow and just sit there <laughs> for an hour. <laughs> oh my god! Oh, I just want that. We just be like, I think oh. he's cracking, guys. I think he's. I think I, he's I, I want, you want me to set, want up set up a gimmick table outside there? Please do home. that. Please do that. Please definitely. I'll do set that. it up. I'll set it up in my driveway, and I'll just sit there. Yeah. The table yeah. and the mailman. Yeah, and oh I'll be like, "You god. want an autograph?" And he'll be like, "What the fuck?" And I'm like, "Autograph." <laughs> Five dollars. You, you, you gotta do a little bit where you're like, you, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta uh, pull the entrapment bit on him first. You gotta be like, oh yeah, okay, take a picture with me, take a picture. With me. Okay, five dollars. You know. It's like oh my god! <laughs> People walk up and down my room all day to get exercise. I will literally be like, five dollars for autograph, guys. Yeah, five bucks every time somebody walk cards. past my house. Yeah, really. Oh, this needs to happen. Please do this. Yeah, please do this. Make sure you're full gear. I will. I'll do uh, full gear and a hoodie. No way. My, you're working. I got, I gotta hide my identity though. At the same yeah, time, no, wait a minute, Ronnie. Like full gear? Are we talking OSHA? Put like towel full, underneath the hoodie? You gotta have the towel underneath the hoodie. Or, or is it like like because your good guys gear is just like a good guys t shirt, isn't oh, it? Sorry, sorry, yeah. it's, it's post match gear. Oh, okay. I will put the camo pants on, uh, the good guys t shirt, the jacket, yeah. fanny pack. I get, yeah, I have a fanny pack, and yeah, I'll just yeah. sit out there. I have that, and I'll put money in my fanny pack. So we're like, they yeah. I'm like, I'm oh, like you got five change. Yeah, well, I'll have change. I'll put change. Yeah, you have to make change. It'll be great. Listen, <laughs> if Magnum CK has taught us anything, always bring change. Have you guys That's seen right. this? Have you guys ABC seen this? Always bring change. His Glenn Gary, Glenn, Glenn Ross takeoff that he posted yesterday <laughs> is fucking amazing. Um, yeah, it is. Please go is watch Glenn that. Glenn Ross or is it Wall Street? No, it's Glenn Gary, Glenn Ross. Okay. Yeah, no, okay. it's great. It's fantastic. It's his take on the. Uh, Alec Baldwin's sp- uh, speech in there. Oh, okay, so because okay. ABC is from Wall Street. What's that? The always be closing is from Wall Street. That's what I was wondering. Uh, <laughs> yes, I I feel like they borrowed it in in, in this movie as well, from okay. my recollection. Right. So and they may they may have just mashed them together a little bit too. So uh, it's good, and I am so happy that he did link in Twitter. Um, or no, one one of our comments. Actually, Rob did this. Uh, on the on the on our Facebook group, uh, so there is the original scene, so you can compare. So <laughs> also, everybody should watch Glenn Gary Glenn Ross. Just, just going to put that out there, and just as a well, required watching. I need to see it because it was referenced heavily in Jay and Silent Bob reboot. Thank you, thank you for bringing that up because I yeah. had the quote in my head. I'm like, I'm not going to say the quote. I'm not going to say the quote. Yep. So thank you for. Bringing oh, yeah, it I up. just rewatched that. Why is that not ringing in my head? I don't uh, know. Uh, how, we just we just talked about Chris Jericho as a clan member last night. So <laughs> how uh, Glenn Gary? Oh my sucks God! That's what Kevin Smith was doing. Was. Oh, yeah, he was Glenn Ross bit. It just yeah. connected. Wow! Yeah, boy. I was distracted. Yeah. I was distracted by the Klansmen. Okay, he and Chris Jericho. Eat. Please, nobody <laughs> sound like that. <laughs> Everyone. Sound bite that. Oh, yeah. Make it a gif, put big bold letters. I was distracted by the Klansman. 
Sorgatron Media, ca- copyright 2020. No. This. <laughs> I may actually have to edit the show. Uh, so, <laughs> son of a bitch. Let's just leave it in. No, it'll be, it'll be fun. Fuck. It won't be fun. <laughs> All right. What do we got? We got video game news this week. We uh, we were reminded that Triple H is a great guy. Uh, <laughs> Kinda. What about the WWE game that looks terrible? Oh, the... come on. I, I like it. I'm looking forward to this. It looks like WWE All-Stars, bro. Yes, like, I love All-Stars. All-Stars. Give it to if me. If it's on a console, I will buy it. Yes. If somebody gets eaten by I... an alligator, you can kill somebody in this game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Finally. Literally kill them. Finally, it's about fucking time. Finally, we finally we Dave finally. Dave Reckoning too. Dave Reckoning too. You used to be able to throw people off a of scaffolding. They they, they finally that? they finally turned yeah. turned professional wrestling into what it should have been all along. Murder? NXT Most Extreme Challenge. Oh, yes. I love Most Extreme Challenge. If that guy does not do voiceovers, mm-hmm. uh, guy Ladouche, I'm gonna be really pissed. It's, guy um, is the best. Some of the references do not age well. By the way, when you watch that show back. <laughs> No, that show's amazing though. Yes, it's it's uh, it's definitely kind of hard in this 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 year. Uh, we need but, to bring that back. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Uh, it, it, yeah, yeah. It, it was just, well, I think I think I think that show. Uh, it, those, uh, this was a show that was on um, Spike, and we all watched it probably because it was around the time when Impact was on that channel. And oh. um, actually, Bill, yeah, no, around that time, and they voice over um, these insane uh obstacle course shows that they had in japan and uh the, the, the thing is i think that exposed the people it was ninja warrior it was yeah it was, it was like ninja warrior, uh, it, was, bad American commentary. it was wacky ninja warrior though because they have like monsters and things and people dressed up um well, and, and, it was kaiju ninja warrior yeah it was kaiju and, and, yeah pretty much um but i think that exposed like oh hey now everybody knows there's this wacky japanese stuff and I'm sure there was a lot of other kind of worse shows about that. But uh, yeah, it was a, yeah, it was before YouTube where we just find all those shows and watch those uh, straight <laughs> off. Um, so I mean, that's that's one thing. So it, 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 the the first one always, you know, the main the main the Matrix was fantastic when you were, first watched it. But now that a hundred movies have done the Matrix like mystery thing, it's kind of you go back and we're like, really. You know, really? Because you know yeah. now. You can't beat that first experience in that time period, right? True. So I mean, we all live in a massive head injury. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> Once you get a massive head injury and watch it again, you don't remember the first time. Oh, right? There you go. There you go. Don't make me don't make me watch it again. Please. It's like so didn't somebody go back and watch the first uh, ladder match with uh Razor and Sean Lane? Oh, I I have seen that fairly right. recently. Right. It's, it's so like, great. It's 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 great, but you also have to put it in a time capsule because remember we didn't have Hardy Boys jumping off shit. We didn't have you know. Well, you did. It just wasn't televised. Oh, I, okay. <laughs> yeah, they were still doing it on the they trampoline in, 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 in Carolina, yeah. right? Yeah, so, damn yarders. So yeah, damn yarders. Um, but yeah, no, it, it's 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 all time capsule. You know, it, it's um, you know, it, uh, go back and watch like this match from Bruno San Martino in the seventies. It may be hard to appreciate it, you know, as a fan. When when you grew up on Hogan of the '80s or Stone Cold of the '90s, or okay, John Cena of the 2000s, I guess. <laughs> thank you, thank you. Um, or Shima Zion of Pittsburgh. <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to do that. There's no reason for the reference. Um, there you go, guys. Gals, do we have gals here still? I, I think she left. Okay. She's I, gone. I hadn't seen Matt's camera for a while. So, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> um, what did you guys learn from wrestling this week? And also, you guys in the chat room. Other than dad stuff. How uh, Austin Theory had some really ugly ass tights last night. <laughs> <laughs> uh-huh. Like, where did he dig those goddamn things up from? I was trying to figure out. I was trying to figure out Garza's. Uh, um, or Garcia? Garza? Garcia. No, Angel Garza. 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 Oh, Angel Garza. Yeah. Um, his his shiny sweat, his shiny like like PJ pants. They look really comfortable. Going on, they look very comfortable. I'm like, oh. they they look more professional than uh, Austin Theory's tights that looked like they were ironed on. <laughs> like, Jesus Christ! It was like, are the, are the, are the, are, is, is is that team laid off too, or uh, I don't know. <laughs> Everybody, well, a lot of people got laid off for coming back. Yeah. So, oh, yeah. You know, 
it's gotta be patient, except for you know Ryder and Hawkins. They're already moving forward. Yes, exactly. Um, what about you guys? What about you guys, Matt, Mike? Matt, you can go first. Oh, Mike, Mike, I didn't learn anything. Oh, oh okay. You, I, you look like you had. To, <laughs> I, I, um, I all right. So I have watched a lot of up, up, down, down. Mm-hmm. A lot of it, as pretty one much, should. Pretty much all of it. Um, and every time Tyler Breeze is on, and you'll notice this when if you listen to the New Day podcast as well. A lot of times we'll be like, "Ooh, Charles, Charles, what are you doing, Charles? You're my head, Charles." I always wondered the fuck they were talking about mm-hmm. because Kofi is not named Charles. <laughs> Your boy is not named Charles. Big E is not named Charles. Tyler Breeze is not named Charles. So you're like, who the hell is Charles this entire time? I, I was wondering. I'm like, is this a former gimmick that I'm unaware of, of any of these people? And it was just a joke that stuck. But on the podcast with Tyler Breeze, they revealed what the fuck they're talking about. What? And it's from the 92 X-Men cartoon. <laughs> the Juggernaut episode. Oh no! <laughs> yes, where Juggernaut Whoa. is screaming, "Charles, you're in my head, Charles." And yes. I'm like, I'm like, that makes perfect sense. Uh-huh. <laughs> and a lot of stuff just became real clear. A lot of stuff. Like I see colors differently now. A lot of stuff. Really, <laughs> your entire world has changed. I, I smell my colors now. World, yeah, I smell yeah. colors. I I taste people. I hear <laughs> letters. The uh, the idea of aliens existing now doesn't bug you. It's just all right, uh, all right. Mm. just because something is an unidentified flying object doesn't mean it's an alien. No, <laughs> I no. love bringing it, it up with everybody. It's literally, an unidentified flying object. Yes. Now you you realize it's been on purpose. Yes, of oh, course. Yes. <laughs> Matt, have you come up with something? You know what? I did just think of something. Uh, I, I I learned this week, as I have the last past couple weeks, that if if real life wrestling isn't doing it for you, then just go check in with your son and his fleet of action figures because he is booking some incredible stuff. That's right. Uh, this uh, most recently, uh, just personal highlight. Let's see what was it? Uh, he booked uh, uh, Ricochet versus Kenta. Uh, falls count anywhere for the NXT championship, and they were doing Spanish flies off the top of his bed to the floor wow. through the table. Uh, I posted some videos, and it's pretty crazy too because, like, now, like, it's so much fun to post the videos now, and you get slow mo it on your iPhone mm-hmm. that, like, you will be setting up for the spot, and I'll be like, okay, wait, 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 wait. like, I'm gonna, let me get my phone, let me get my phone, let me get my phone. Okay, ready, ready, okay, go. <laughs> so, <laughs> so he Charlotte Flair's it. What's that? <laughs> so he Charlotte Flair's it. He's like, are you ready? Are you ready? Three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, a little bit of that stuff. Um, <clears throat> yeah, it's just, yeah, it, 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 it's a, it's just a blast. And uh, just listening to him just like scream at the top of his lungs uh, at these moves and realizing that he is like, he, he's basically, uh, you know, it, the voice of Michael Cole is screaming in his head because that's what he's heard all his life. Uh, and that is the voice that he's screaming out whenever he's doing all these moves. <laughs> oh my God! You know, yeah, yeah. How many times have you heard him scream? It's boss time. <laughs> uh, sadly, there's no Sasha Banks in his collection, no. so oh. there is. It is never boss time. But oh, uh, the fun man. part about his very, very small. There, there are very few women wrestlers uh, action figures in his collection, but he does have Oscar, and Oscar beats the crap out of all the boys, and yeah. I, I insist that it happen. So it's a good. Yeah, um, Tina is also chiming in just a segment with Aaron, uh, reminds her of the magic of large than life characters when we were kids. This, this is also, and, and man, I, I, I sent you a message the other day cause I saw a video, uh, between the video, the, the video that I gift for you, um, yeah. uh, of Mason responding to, was that the NFL draft? It was the NFL draft. Okay. okay. It was just a great <laughs> reaction. And, um, um, doc, doc, um, from RWA. Uh, the announcer over there, commentary over there. Uh, he had a picture of his. Uh, th- there was a lot of chat coming in, going on in a uh, private chat about um, several years ago when Marshall Gambino speared Corey Futuristic off of the bleachers through a table in Royal Valley. <laughs> Some may remember that gif. 
Um, you just look up the Royal Valley match. Um, I believe is the lockdown match, uh, where the handcuff match. I, I forget what it's called. Uh, it's on the YouTube. Um, but uh, in the Doc showed that clip to um, his kid. Oh boy! And uh, and uh, he said something about like he must. Corey must have really made him mad. Is he dead now? <laughs> <laughs> and I just like went into it because I told Doc this too before, and then I was like, I got I got a message, same thing to Matt. I was like, I just want like a TikTok or Instagram of just kids reacting to wrestling, because mm-hmm. much like we talked about tonight, like I think like I love, you know, there, there was another one where there was a a, a, a you know eleven twelve year old girl again just in the crowd reacting to wrestling, and and. That to me is the most pure thing about what we like here, right? You know, mm-hmm. between that, you know, seeing seeing kids, adults, you know, always, you know, in the crowd, just losing their minds to this stuff, you know, not being all pushed the glasses up and say, ah, he's, you know, I could have done that better. I don't know about his work rate, but no, it's the moments and the reactions, and and you know, you know, much like entertainment, much like, you know, music, you know, I, I just love things that incite reactions and sometimes just like when we go to raw Matt, other than, you know, we joke about, I just look at the production. I'm also looking around seeing what's happening. Right. Mm -hmm. Because that's the most, you know, being in an arena of 10,000 people all responding and hanging on this thing, even on a Monday night raw. Right. You know, Mm -hmm. it's still like, you know, we say, I don't know if that went over well, you know, but there's still probably 5,000 people in there that that was the best thing they ever saw in person. Right. And, and, yeah, and you gotta like, that's um, the sum of all the parts. Yeah. It, it took me a while to realize this, but once I did it, it was very obvious that like, especially when you have a kid that uh, you, and you take them to a wrestling show, especially one that's live. And uh, you realize that this is not for you anymore. And by you, I mean me. You know, this is for the other, the, the next generation. So he yeah. can yeah. grow up and, you know, enjoy all this stuff. And once you kind of, it, it's just so much more fun to just be there and just mm-hmm. to kind of like, just go with the flow. And that might sound like, um, like you're just abandoning any kind of like rational or critical thought of what you're, what you're viewing. But I just want to go and just, you know, like when I, if I go to an indie show and I don't know within the first like 10 seconds of the match, like which guy to boo and which guy to cheer, I get frustrated because I just want to, you know, just tell me what to do. I'll do it, you know? <laughs> show I'm me the here script. For Let's it. go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I'm at the show. Tell me who the bad guy is. I will boo him out of this building. Let's go. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. And uh, yeah, that's really what I am Dang it. You know, I, I really miss wrestling. As it's supposed to be, mm-hmm. you know, with the fans. Mm-hmm. Uh, this empty arena stuff, it's not working for me. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> at it's hard. all. It's it hard. doesn't matter what conflict. company's putting it out. I'm not, it's not, it's not wrestling. I am finishing with, less and less of my wrestling, there, wrestling yeah. shows of the week. Really, yeah. Um, from the chat room uh, along those lines, Dave Potter says, uh, uh, I learned that uh, being the elite is better than most of the shows on TV. The brother versus brother match was so entertaining. I, yeah, I've been seeing people share that. And I need to, I need to catch up on that too. Uh, maybe that's it. You know, there's a lot of story happening there, Matt. So, True. and, and unfortunately, uh, who, who was it? I think it was it Alex that was in the chat room. Yeah. Learned that Dino Bravo got shot 18 times. I did not know about, I haven't watched that episode yet. Um, mm. I, I watched the Brawl for All and the Jimmy Snuka episode so far. Um, but yeah, Dino, like I had no idea the back. And I'm not looking forward to, but am morbidly interested in, which I think is the only thing you can say about Dark Side of the Ring is like, I'm morbidly interested on in what this is about. Yeah, morbidly interested. That pretty much sums up Dark Side of the Ring uh, as a whole. Yeah, right there, yeah, so. yeah. But uh, one in a couple of weeks is going to be a heart wrench around and think I'm going <clears> to <throat> watch it. Well, the Owen Hart one? Yep. Mm-hmm. Not going to be able to watch that one. I, I can tell already. <laughs> yep. But anyways, guys, thank you so much. Uh, also, big thanks to Aaron Clyberg. Please go check out Grown Ass Dad on the uh, Amazon Prime. Yes, I do believe they bleep out the ass in that title. Uh, so, mm. 
Uh, so please go check that out. It's, it's fantastic. And, and a lot of you guys have Prime out there. So please go check that out. Um, Mad Mike 43 on the Twitter. T-U-B-I dot TV. Look for Lucha Underground. Watch it. Fill it. Fill your eye holes with it. It's great. But only after you watch uh, Aaron's uh, Amazon Prime Comedy Special. Absolutely. Absolutely. And keep an eye out for mentions of Mad Mike and Mainstream Matt and uh, Alex Alex and myself in the crowd. <laughs> so, <laughs> Man, that's... Uh, yeah, that's you, have to, you, have to, you have to watch a bit to get to the mentions of me and, and Matt. Yes. Because it's literally the last episode, but yeah, you know, it's a long, it's a long build to that yeah, moment. Long but build. I think we're halfway through the second that, season. Um, yeah, that, we main evented the series of Lucha Underground, <laughs> the, se- the series finale. <laughs> yeah, we, it was us and Wade Barrett. Mm. Was, you know what? As it was meant to be. Mm-hmm. Yes, always mm-hmm. together. Spoiler alert. <laughs> Mainstream Matt, please go check out Listen to Your Parents podcast on SogatronMedia.com yeah, right. and on Facebook. Everyone who came here to see Aaron and appreciate parent angst, if you love parenting angst, listen to your parents' podcast. It's nonstop. It's great stuff. Uh, very healthy, too. I feel better every time we do it. And thank you to Ronnie Starks. He's out there somewhere. Right I'm here. Hello, hey, you're there. Yeah. Ronnie. Uh, you guys can see me on the Facebook. I no longer have Twitter because I hate Twitter. Uh, you guys can go listen to my podcast. It's uh, Klein and Stark's Awesome Toy Adventures. And if you would like to purchase one of these bad guys, mm-hmm. or if you're interested in buying some cool toys, they don't sponsor me, but I'm working on it. Go to BigBadToyStore.com. And uh, I don't know stuff. Yeah, woo! Uh. Thank you so much, everybody in the chat room all night. Uh, Tina Podner, the Alexes. Uh, <laughs> it's, just, it's just wild that we have two Alexes in there, both from California. It, 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 it gets me every time. Uh, and everybody else has popped in throughout the evening. Uh, please, again, if you like what's going on, like, subscribe, share the show, so more people can get in on the Mayhem universe. We'll see you guys next time. Mayhem out. Wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, just wait, wait for the